Now that we have taken a look at the course syllabus, you should have an idea of what is going to be covered in the course. There are two last things that I want to talk about regarding the navigation of the course. Um, the first is the schedule. So you can click on the schedule button at the top of your page. It will navigate you to the schedule page. There is a PDF that has been embedded of the semester schedule. You can see that it is essentially by month, so the months don't end on on the very last day of the page, but this is the February page, there's a little bit of March at the bottom. This is the March page, there's a little bit of, of April. But it breaks out the course and it identifies what you should be working on when. Out of all the courses that I teach, Art 1280 Photoshop software is the most work by volume because you could take you could take a million Photoshop classes and still not master Photoshop. There's so much that you can do in it. And so we try to cover as many um, things that we can cover in Photoshop as possible throughout the semester. Um, it should be noted that we don't do really a deep dive in any of them, so we want to expose you to good foundational practices. We want to show you like a thousand things that can be done in Photoshop, um, but we don't do a deep dive in any one in particular. Uh, when you move on to your advanced Photoshop course, depending on what your program is, you might take Photoshop for photographers or advanced Photoshop for graphic designers. Those courses will cover less topics, but they will do deeper dives within each topic. Anyway, so the semester schedule should be printed. If you click on it, it will expand and open uh, in a big window, and you can do that if you want. But if you hover over the schedule, maybe I have to put it into full screen mode to do that. If you put it into full screen mode, and I know that I'm only recording part of the screen right now, so you can't see it. Uh, but if you put it into full screen mode in the bottom right hand corner, there's a download button. You can download this. It's formatted as an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and then you can print it. I highly recommend printing the schedule because we're going to follow it to a T. It is a visual representation of what you should be working on and when. So right now, uh, we are working in getting started in Art 1280. I'm showing you a specific semester, but it really doesn't apply if you're not taking this during that semester, but you would still have a version of this on your calendar. Uh, you can see that we are working on getting started in Art 1280. That's module one. I color coded it so you can see where one module starts and stops or you know when they split up. It says it's due January 15th, which is Wednesday, because we have things due every Wednesday and every Saturday throughout the semester. And then it lists everything that you should be doing for that module. Anything that has a number on it, so we have activities 1, 2, 3, and 4, are things that are due and things that count towards your grade. Anything that doesn't have a number on it doesn't count towards your grade per se, but you need to complete those things so that you can, you know the answers to the questions that are going to be asked on your homework and the activities that you're going to submit. You can see that I color-coded the modules. They don't really mean anything other than being a different color on the calendar because I wanted you to see where the modules start and stop. So for the first three days of the semester, you're going to work on Module 1, Getting Started in Art 1280. It's due by Wednesday of the start of a semester. And then we'll move on to Module 2, which is our first real coursework level module. And we will cover color management. Uh, which is due on Saturday, January 18th in this example. Lesson two is file creation and document setup. Lesson three is intro to Adobe Bridge. Lesson four is camera raw. And lesson five is workspaces and presets. But visually you can see that we are essentially going to work on module two for two and a half weeks of the semester. Module three is this yellow module. We'll work on it for one, two, three and a half weeks of the semester. And you can see kind of how the semester pans out.